good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlogs. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you come back every day. It's Shamrock Truffle morning, and I'm walking to the train with some Irish soda bread. All right, so next we're gonna take the bus. I looked at my phone and it was a little bit faster. And I don't mind, I feel uh, the bus can be almost more enjoyable. I honestly could take a power nap probably on the bus. From like my old, I used to take naps on the bus and train when I was working third shift at the hotel downtown, but living in the suburbs. Um, not as cold as I thought, at least it doesn't feel cold as I thought, it's like 40. Um, sun's already coming up, as you can tell. Sarah stayed back at the apartment because James was still sleeping. We wanted to get, get as much sleep as he can get. Plus, there's not as much to do during the race, like run Disney events, like Chicago Marathon, because it's 4.8 miles or something along along that number. Um, it would be kind of difficult for someone to see us on route and then towards the finish line. Uh, more of a, just an overall laid back, but Sarah is going to come to the finish and meet Kim and the kids. Uh, she's just going to wait until closer to that 7.45-ish time. The race doesn't, doesn't even start until 9 o'clock, so you guys know me. I have to be at the corral the moment it's opening. Um, so my goal is to get to Grand Parkhead. Basically at 7.30 when my corral opens. Look at this view. Absolutely stunning morning. I can see the sun. If the trees weren't there, you can see the sun poking up over the lake. A lake sunrise. My plan didn't work out as smoothly as I thought because of all the road closures. Um, apparently, they're closing the roads real early. The race doesn't even start. Until 8.30, I think. Um, so the bus has got rerouted, so I actually got dumped off north of the river. And I have to be a few blocks south of the river, but I'm still looking better. I'm still, I can still, still get there before my brother does. It's a beautiful morning. Sarah, look at that building. Look at that view. Are you kidding me? Oh, I know I've, uh, we've shown this before, but not too many times, but Rosie's right there. Now it says it opened up at 7 a.m. It used to open up earlier, I think, because I used to go, I went there a few times. After working third to the hotel, and it would be like 7 a.m., and we would be going to have a drink, and all the people were coming to, like, the district business, district areas of downtown would give us weird looks, and I was like, hey, back off. We've been up since 9 o'clock last night working. This isn't 7 a.m. for us. This is 7 p.m. Come on, look at this. Honeycombs. New skyscraper still being built. To give you a frame of reference, it was last Saturday that they dyed the river green. You can still see it's got a green color to it, but it's not that neon nuclear green that we saw last week. These bridges in Chicago are just the best. Come on. It's beautiful. We got the bean. Cloudgate is what it's officially called, but everyone calls it the bean. The sun rising behind it. Best skyline in the world is reflecting in it. That man's just gonna pop out, come do something crazy. Sun's popping up, but I have very unfortunate news. It's called the bus route a blessing or a curse, a blessing in disguise, I guess, because I'm wearing my, my shamrock themed brooks because shamrock shuffle. Um, both of them, both of them are tearing into the back of my heels right now. I've got leggings on and I've got socks on that are covering like high ankle socks. So like it's not going directly into the skin. Um, I just don't remember this ever happening. I don't wear this books all the time. It has been before, but once I meet up with my brother and we get into the ground, I'm gonna have to see if I can get like two big band-aids maybe or 
KT tapes, something like. But even then, I don't know how much help it's gonna do. This is just very strange. So the important thing about this is that this is more of like a fun run with me and my brother. Um, it's not my longest run. It's shorter than like my new standard of like about six miles whenever I just go out for a run. But this, with my shoes digging into my heels, could result in some bloody torn up heels and that could make the rest of my running and training and working out not fun for, you know, a week or two while it heals depending on how bad it gets. So, gotta, gotta figure out some kind of mitigation plan here. Looking like a race morning. All right, going into gate two, a little level low because it's 43, I think, and Sonny, as long as the wind stays away, we'll be good. Beautiful right now. Tell my brother. Definitely, everybody. I don't know how you beat me here. It's because of bus. My wife drives real bad. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. My brother heard that there's 20,000 people here. morning from James and I. We are en route to the Shamrock Shuffle. James slept even later than I expected, but we embraced it. Anyways, it was just a little too chilly for us to be like headed into the loop any earlier than we needed to be. You know, just waiting around or strolling around, but it really is supposed to be a nice day today. So hopefully, I'm out of breath. <laughs> um, hopefully we should get to State Street right when Peter and Michael are. This is Fullerton. Well, we're still two minutes away. Although we're getting, we're getting moved up even closer. Oh, yeah. On a scale of one to 10, how nervous are you? Uh, 17. Perfect. It's gonna be so much fun. Nice. Look at all these, all this greenery. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Oh, look, if you need salt, they have a whole truck of it. I think people sleep on the fact that Chicago is a running city, but it is a massively amazing running city. Coming up on the river, coming up on, what is it? Almost a half mile. Your my brother's still here. I haven't it's dropped okay, him yet. Still rocking. Um, I might push him into the river and finish. Take him. But we'll see. We got more spectators. Woo! Coming up on mile one. I see the sign. Well, check it out. We got a live band. Woo! Come on. How could you run in a more beautiful city? I don't think you can. Prove to me. Okay, we found the Shamrock Shuffle. We are right where it turns on Washington onto state. And I was a little nervous that Peter was gonna beat us because the train didn't come for like 11 minutes. But we're good. So we're gonna get situated, find Kim and the kids, our nieces and nephews. So we can cheer them in. Our family should be over there down State Street. We're coming up on State Street, that great street. We got halfway done. Look at that puppy. Just past 5K mark. We're making our last turn south before we head to the finish line. Feeling good? Oh, yeah. Saw our families. Ended up being a warmer day. James, he's got Toy Story going because one, he was sad that he could not just walk freely. Um, 
and go into the course. And two, he was upset that Peter came and left so fast. So, we are headed to the finish line now. Oh yeah, my 04. Last chapter. Now it's all, now we're all at stage. Now we gotta turn around Michigan and people will be watching us the whole time. So we have to act like we know what we're doing. They're gonna watch us walk. <laughs> all right, we're going, we're gonna sub 55 it. So here comes our turn towards the disgusting hill on Roosevelt. So you're just gonna chew up. Don't stop, just chew up that hill. The most Chicago thing ever. They use salt trucks to block all the races. But right now, they're full of salt because it could still snow here. All right, made it up the hill. Coming into museum campus. Here we go, here's the left turn. We should be able to see the finish line. There it is. I see it. Here's the finish line, finishing strong. 53 minutes, come on. They said his name. Look at this sick medal. Nailed it. Nailed it. Good job, man. You did great. Man, man. Great job. What was your time? I think it was like 50. Uh, 53.04. Awesome. You and Dad placed first. We found a little grassy area. There's a place for everyone to get out their energy. It is crowded and it is nice out. Oh. Get up again. Get up. So here's Jack. <laughs> so we are taking over the vlog today. Well, not really taking over, but taking over. But our aunt's letting us film. <laughs> Jamesy, oop, Jamesy is playing. He keeps falling down. <laughs> Isn't it nice out now? It was so cold this morning, and now it's like 60 degrees. And it was freezing this morning. Say hi, Berkey. Uh, there you go, JC! Hug! He's on the shoulder right now. There's JC! She's coming, she's coming back. Are we vlogging? Yeah. Hey guys, I'm it's Jenna and Jackson, the two J's. What's up? How you doing? Am I embarrassing you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Look at this party. My brother and I are gonna get food. Let's see if I, I think they just have hot dogs and burgers and chips. We're gonna grab some food. There's some music playing. It is good to have running back in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Jamesy, he just wants to be free. All right, so the whole fam is headed over to the music. Jenna's hanging out with us too. She's got Jackson on her back. As straight as our stroller, thank you very much. <laughs> Cannot wait for this fountain to be turned on. This fence is like the literal opposite of James. Hey, excuse me, sir. See chameleon light there in the sun. All things to everyone. Run, run away. Oh! All right, so we are at block 37. We said goodbye to my siblings and nieces and nephews. Jenna's still with us. We're gonna, we're at block 37 to get Magnolia Bakery, get some coffee, maybe a pastry before we head back north to Wrigleyville. Um, James fell asleep, which is actually great right now to enjoy Magnolia, but I kind of was hoping that like Sarah, James, and I would take like a family nap. So maybe he'll stay awake until we get home and we can nap because it's been a tiring weekend, you know, but I had a lot of fun at the race. It was fun to run a, uh, an actual race with my brother. Um, we were 
talking about potential plans to run one of the Chicago halves together later this year. So we'll see. Alrighty, one last stop before we head home. We're gonna grab coffee and a sweet treat at Magnolia Bakery in Block 37. We passed by here yesterday and Peter was like, every time I pass this place, it smells so good. They have more than just cupcakes. I thought it was a cupcake place. Um, certain stuff and I need some coffee. Well, there. You know I don't like coffee. Look at this cheesecake. The floor tile. We got this beautiful lemonade and coffee. Ah, and pastries. It's supposed to be in here. That's delicious lemon bar. And this lemonade is so good. How is it? Yeah. What did you get? This Snickers icebox bar. Oh. Poor Jamesy. He's asleep. No, He's been. Crazy. He's been running around like a looney tune. Hey, Evie. Hey. You're home. You're just taking a shower. We're just gonna do some relaxing. Going on a walk in Wrigley. Gonna get some chicken sandwiches and donuts. Very adventurous day for you, Jamesy. We're soaking up as much of the neighborhood weekend feels as we can. Because of the timing of everything today with the races and the post race and everything, uh, we didn't go south for our uh, Sunday dinner like we usually do. So we're kind of just taking in all the weekend fields. What are you doing? You find yourself? Coming up on the Harley Davidson and Wrigley. Opening day is just a few weeks away. Very exciting. And the place we're going to eat is like a chicken sandwich donut joint, which is not exclusive to Chicago. I think I've seen it other places. It is called, I don't know. Here we go, Do Right Donuts. Look at that, 40 sandwiches to eat in Chicago before you die. 31 best donut shops in America. Saying the good Midwest donuts looks good. I stand corrected. I think Do Right Donuts is only a Chicago thing, but I think there's more than one in Chicago. But we got three donuts and we got some chicken sandwiches. So we're getting the whole shebang. We're just not getting, you can get the chicken sandwiches on a donut. We just didn't do that. Ooh, here's Jamesy's chicken tenders with the Texas toast, French fries. Good <laughs> Oh gosh. You and I got the same thing. Yeah, yeah, spicy southern. It has the chicken and slaw and barbecue sauce on a brioche bun. This is a coconut dream. This is not what I asked for. Really? <laughs> maybe it is. What is it? Maybe is it the van is it look like a vanilla bean glaze? Maybe. And then Chocolate. The chocolate glaze. Ooh. Oh. That's good. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Um, everybody knows how to dance now. Dance it out, Jamesy. This is how we sometimes begin our transition to bedtime is we pile James in the crib with a bunch of stuffed animals and he goes a little crazy. But then it like gets us reacclimated to his space and his room before we like get some lotions and potions and fresh diaper and pajamas <coughs> and start reading books and brushing teeth. <coughs> Sarah fell asleep putting James down so I have to go in there and wake her up and hopefully did not wake up James. Um, it was a good weekend. It was busy. We knew that going into it. Next weekend we have a fun little um, weekend plan. We'll tell you about that more closer to that. Um, but thank everybody for the support and messages we got about my runs and my challenges and everything. Um, it was a good weekend. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. 
We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>